Last year, I had a surgery to remove lymph nodes to stop cancer from spreading. It was a surgery I wasn't looking forward to. I was scared. As I was being prepped for the operation, a nurse asked me if I would like to meet the medical team assigned to care for me. Then in walked eight hospital staff members. It's hard to describe the feeling of being surrounded by a team devoted to care for me. I want to live my life closer to thee. Three disciples of Jesus, Peter, James, and John, experienced the glory of being surrounded. We hear about their incredible experience in Matthew chapter 17, verses 1 through 8. After six days, Jesus took with him Peter and James and John, his brother, and led them up a high mountain by themselves. And he was transfigured before them, and his face shone like the sun, and his clothes became white as light. And behold, there appeared to them Moses and Elijah talking with him. And Peter said to Jesus, Lord, it is good that we are here. If you wish, I will make three tents here, one for you and one for Moses and one for Elijah. He was still speaking when, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and a voice from the cloud said, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. When the disciples heard this, they fell on their faces and were terrified. But Jesus came and touched them, saying, Rise and have no fear. And when they lifted up their eyes, they saw no one but Jesus only. We all experience times in our lives when we need to be surrounded. We need people who love us, who care for us, who want the best for us. It feels glorious to be supported by a cloud of loved ones. Peter didn't want the feeling of being surrounded to end. Think of what it would have been like to be so close to a glorified Jesus. Not only that, he was in the presence of Moses, Elijah, and his fellow brothers in Christ, James and John. I don't blame him for wanting to set up a tent and stay there in that moment for as long as possible. When we feel the glory of being surrounded by our fellow believers or a family who loves you and loves Jesus, it's natural to desire for it to never end. We know we can't always have the gift of community, yet we, like the three disciples, have one with us when no one else is left. When we lift up our eyes, we always have Jesus. We have him near us when we read the Bible, when we worship, when we break bread and drink wine in communion. As believers, Jesus has made a place in our heart. He is here with us to stay. And may you look forward to the day you leave this earth and you will see Jesus face to face. Pray with me. Heavenly Father, thank you for the gift of a community of believers. Help me to be grateful for the gift of being surrounded by those who love you and love me. Help me to look forward to the glorious community we will have with you in heaven. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks for joining us. If you're seeking services for symptoms of mental illness, please talk to your primary doctor or a health professional. If you don't have one, consider one of the resources listed here to find help. And God's peace to you.